In this video, we're going to do a little setup for 3ds Max so we can use it with our FBX pipeline. Now we're going to be installing an old tool that is used for Skyrim. Now you're probably thinking, we're modding Fallout 4. Why do I need a tool from Skyrim for Fallout 4? Well, it's to work around an issue with Outfit Studio's FBX pipeline. Its importer does not separate texture borders and NIF files can only allow one UV per vertex. Well, a texture border has two UVs per vertex. We actually have to split all of our edges, our texture borders. We have to split those when we import it, but we also have to retain the skin. So we're gonna be using this as a workaround because Outfit Studio doesn't do that separation. So we're gonna just use this as a workaround. Now, this will all make sense when we get into the pipeline for the modding it's not a big deal we're just going to install this and down the road when caliente has a chance to implement a texture border separation this step will be completely removed now if you already have 3ds max nif importer exporter by figment installed for skyrim in your 3ds max installation you can skip this video and go ahead and move on to the next video. So for those of you who don't have it installed, let's go ahead and get it installed. Now we're actually gonna go ahead and use the executable. And again, you can get to the 3ds Max NIF importer exporter by Figment via a link below the video in the description. Just select that link, come here, and we're gonna select the executable. So go ahead and click download manually. And I'll go ahead and click save the file because this is an installer. I'll give it a second to install. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and grab that and we'll go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click run. It's going to run it. My Norton says it's safe. Of course it is. <laughs> Let's give it a second to boot up, close that. And I'll say, okay, next. It's gonna say, what do you wanna install? Well, we're just installing 3ds Max 2016. So any others that you have checked, you can uncheck them. I don't care if you install them to your other 3ds Maxes. I'm gonna go ahead and check them. And I'll go ahead and click next. And I'm just gonna have Skyrim selected. All right, I don't, I'm not covering any of this other stuff. I'm just gonna install the one for Skyrim because we just need it to separate those texture borders. So I'll go ahead and click next. And it's saying, where are your extracted model and extracted texture directories? Now you can select any folder you want for this because we're not actually using this plugin for Skyrim. Okay, this is not a Skyrim modding tutorial series. It's for Fallout 4. So I don't care what you set these to. You don't have to actually have them set. You don't even have to have Skyrim installed. Okay, so just put these to anything. You can maybe even leave them blank. I don't even know if you have to put anything there. Just go ahead and click Next. And go ahead and click Install. Now it's going to try to install these. And I'm going to uncheck these. I'm going to click Finish. Now, this actually has a problem, his installer does. For me, it does anyways. It doesn't install stuff to the correct directory, so I have to actually have to move things around. So, real quick, I'm going to move those things around. Okay, so now I've opened a few folders here. The first folder you're going to need, in case it did not install correctly for you, is, and just it's also a good idea to just check to make sure that it installed correctly. So just open these folders and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. So in my eDrive, I have my Autodesk 3ds Max 2016 folder open. Okay, this is where I installed 3ds Max in my Autodesk 3ds Max 2016 installation folder. Get that folder open. Open another window and I want you to browse to your C drive, program files, Autodesk, not this, this is program files, not the program files 86, this is the regular one. Program files, Autodesk, 3ds Max 2016 plugins. You might see files here if you do, and this is not your default installation directory, then these are in the wrong place. We're gonna have to move them. And then you also want to check your C drive users, your computer username, in my case, Matthews, app data, local Autodesk 3ds Max 2016 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what you installed, ENU, ENUS, plug CFG. All right, so you've got to find this folder as well. And what you're looking for in here should be a Max Tools dot any and if this is here then this is probably also in the wrong directory so what you have to do is you have to move these where they need to go and this is usually only a step that you might not have to take this step i have to take this step though because these have to be in this installation folder or it will not work for me so i'm going to go to plug cfg open this up and i'm going to put this max nift tools dot i'm just going to drag it and drop it in here 
I'll place the one that's in there because I already did this. And then I'm also going to go back to 3ds Max 2016 and I'm going to find the plugins folder for my Autodesk installation. Open this up and I want to grab these four files from this C drive and I want to put them in here because that's where they're supposed to be. Now, if they were already here, you already saw NIF Magic, NIF Mop, these four files inside plugins folder for your Autodesk installation. And you already saw the plug CFG Max NIF Tools .any file was in your 3ds max installation for 2016 then you do not have to do this okay it installed correctly but for me it does not install correctly so i just wanted to show you that these four files are supposed to be in your plugins directory for your autodesk installation okay and this one file way deep inside your local autodesk 3ds max all that stuff <laughs> this max nif tools is supposed to be inside of this plug cfg file folder right here in your installation. They have to be in, in your installation directory. Now let's test to make sure that this is going to work. So we're going to open up Autodesk 3ds Max 2016 and we're just going to run a quick test to make sure that everything installed correctly. And here we are in 3ds Max 2016. What we're going to do is very simple to run this test. We're just going to create a box, right? And we're just going to drag out here and then drag up a little bit and just release. Press W on your keyboard. And we're going to right click on the box. We're going to go to convert to convert to editable mesh. Right now it is an editable mesh. Now we're going to go to file up here at the max box in the upper left hand corner. Go to export and say export select. Now make sure you have it selected. All right. Make sure you have the box clicked on. Click export selected. And we're going to go to our desktop and we're just going to export a temp NIF. All right, and we're going to drop down our save as type. You should see net immerse slash gamebrio kf.nif. If you don't see this, you didn't install it correctly. You need to go back, watch the previous part of the video and get this installed correctly. Okay, so select that and we're going to go ahead and click save and we're going to delete this weld vertices. Just check my options that I have set here. Make sure yours are set the same though. These options do not matter at all because we're just using this for a specific purpose. Okay, just to split those texture borders. So we're gonna go ahead and export it. So I'll click export and then click file, select import, go to our desktop, find that temp nif.nif and click open. And then uncheck import skeleton, and you can uncheck lights, cameras, collision, not that those should have exported anyways. And this looks good. Go ahead and click import and it says box 002. I'll go ahead and click OK. And there's a second box there. So this actually works. All right. That's all we need to test for now. We're just going to go ahead and exit 3ds Max and move on with the installation of our programs that we're going to need. In the next video, we're going to be setting up our Photoshop with the Intel Texture Works so we can work with the new DDS file formats for Fallout 4. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.